What's up everybody and welcome back to my hardcore. It is Monday. I'm back from Sacramento Land Fest. It's time to record and get some stuff done. Now what we're going to be doing is planning out the town a little bit more. Um, I fixed my issue with um, with being able to break stuff without using the tool. Apparently I was in adventure mode somehow, but my Java was outdated too. Can Java break game modes? Because I in the three years that I have played Minecraft, three, four, four years now, actually, um, that's never happened to me. The only time I've ever had d uh, difficulties with um, with game modes is is playing on servers and stuff like that when the server property files aren't being recognized and and crap like that. Um, but yeah, I think I, I don't know. I don't know if I was in adventure mode or whatever. That's what a lot of you were saying. But updating my Java fixed it, and now I can break blocks that aren't there. Uh, also, put in a bunch of wheat here uh, up top, a little bit more too, uh, just to kind of give it more of a stable feel. I'll probably add more as I get more wheat because uh, it's looking a little uh, scarce right now. What we're going to be doing is uh, planning out the town a bit. Um, so we're going to be digging out pathways and um, town, uh, castle, the castle walls. Uh, we're going to be planning them out to start putting other buildings and stuff like that. I would like there to be a pathway behind here, uh, everywhere you walk. Not to mention, we can't really build underneath this anyway, so uh, might as well put a pathway here. At least two blocks wide around, which um, it should be completely doable. Also, I want to try to put in some uh, red lamp lighting, like automatic lighting for, for the nighttime. Um, I've never done it myself, but it from what I can think inside my head uh, the, the it shouldn't be too difficult because basically what we're gonna be doing is hooking up a, a light sensor that when it gets too dark we're going to uh, put some lamps underneath it or hook up some lamps to it rather and um, it, it, it doesn't seem too difficult and I, I say that without ever doing it myself I don't think I've actually ever used a light sensor in the conventional sense of it. I've used it to hook up to a command block before to keep um, keep it daytime in a creative world. I've never used it outside of that. So this is going to be an experience. Um, at least I if I can remember. I think I remember us trying to build one before in this hardcore. But for the life of me, I can't remember where we used it or if we used it or if we even made one. I remember looking one up a long time ago when we first went to the nether. I don't know. It's very interesting. Maybe one of you guys uh, would remember. But uh, I think I'm going to divide this area up here into two sections. So we'll probably have another path maybe, maybe here. That seems pretty wide. And this area we can we can work with. Um, I think I'm gonna have an apothecary right here to my right, a little place for potions and stuff like that. Uh, closer to the gate wall, we'll have our blacksmith probably right here. Uh, over here, I'm not really sure what yet. Um, we'll probably have a, a, a Fletcher, um, probably a leather dude, and maybe a merchant of some sort. Uh, this area is kind of weird with space, so we're going to have to try to work all that out. But uh, what I'm digging out now is the pathways for gravel and stuff, because uh, we need to plan those out before we do our lights. Because I want to do the lights first, that way the buildings are built around the lights. That way I don't have buildings and I have to tear them down to make the lights work. Because we're going to be di digging trenches and stuff like that, and hopefully we don't run into anything down below. I think this side of the house is fine. I think all that stuff that's really close to the top is over in that back corner over that way. In fact, why don't we go grab our lights? Because um, I have like a stack, just over a stack of like redstone lamps. Because I keep making them for projects and then I don't end up using them. We'll take a stack and all the redstone we can. I don't think we're going to need a comparator. Um, I keep making them and using them in projects, but then I don't like them and then I tear them down and then I just put them away 
And then I do that over and over. We're also going to need a light. Oh, we need to put our things away. Put away our leaves. Uh, we have a bunch of dirt and cobble that we don't need right now. Um, we don't need... We do need some dirt because we're going to have to be replacing some of our dirt here. Look at that. We're already at a... I'll keep a stack on me. Already filling this up. We are going to need a lot more gravel though. Uh, we don't need wood on us at the moment. Yeah, I don't believe we need it at the moment. Put away our spruce logs and cobblestone fences. We don't need those on us. We don't need smooth stone because we're not building right now. Right now we are purely setting up the redstone lamps. Oh man, hungry, hungry. Go. Open up. Uh, oh, actually, I meant to grab a redstone or make a a lamp. So we need was it three glass? Uh, we have half slabs on us. Where's our nether one? Oh, did we not bring any quartz over? Did we ever get any quartz? These are questions that need to be answered, everybody. Let's go back to the other house. I probably didn't grab any. That's that's the more likely answer is that I just didn't grab it all because unfortunately I don't have a a quadruple chest inventory or a bunch of backpacks that I could fill in. Um, which by the way, I am having an absolute blast on Blockville. I, I, I really hope that most of you, if not all of you, are watching my Blockville series. I know it's going to be a little slow to start off, but I am just... I'm having a ton of fun with it. Um, it's a great break from... Awesome. We do have quartz. Let's bring some of this stuff over. Uh, glowstone dust. Do we need nether bricks? Probably not. Probably not that much. At least not right now. What else could we use? We could definitely use redstone. Actually, I'd rather put away some of that and pick up more redstone. Um... Here, we'll take that and we'll take a stack of ores. Not that we're ever going to use this much redstone. Um, and I say that prop, I think every time that I pick up redstone. Darn it, we don't have room for our lead. Go back inside real quick. Do, do, do. What can we put down that we do not need? This. Is there already? Oh no, it's a, it's a disc. We should probably bring that back to the castle. Oh, did not click that. I want to click it. Oh, no, darn it. I want to click it and then get on top of him and then pick it up after I get on top of him. Darn it, why is this not going off? These leads are just super buggy, man. Hup. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Not bad. It's hard. Um, it's hard clicking on these horses. I don't know if I can actually click them while holding other things. I think you have to have an empty hand, right? I could be completely wrong on that. I'll tie him back up. We also need to find a name tag, which we have not found yet. The only problem with um, with playing so much block fill is that sometimes I forget. Uh, some of the things that I've done in here, you know, like uh, like if we've ever found a name tag, <laughs> which I'm I'm fairly certain we haven't. Otherwise, I probably would have been naming things by now. Okay, so I have everything that I need to make this thing. I think it's like this, and then oh, I put my half slabs away. Darn it! I need three of those. So I think it's glass on top, nether quartz, and then slabs, yeah? Yeah, daylight sensor. Okay, so we'll put all of that away, and we'll go outside. Now, I think that this, the the um, the brightness or the, the strength of this daylight sensor changes with um, the time of day. I guess that was a bad, bad place to put it. 
So it looks like we only have a power of four right now. And, um, which isn't so bad. I think four. Oh, see, now it's already three. Maybe, maybe at three. No, no, we'll do it at four. We'll, we'll do it. We'll catch it ahead of time. So at a power of four right there is when um, we want to boost our signal. Yeah. Or reverse it. How am I, how am I going to do this, guys? When it goes under four, I want it to turn on. So whoop. we're going to have to test something here. And it's going to take all day, but we can wire up stuff to uh, to make it work. So I think we could do that. And then our lights can turn on after that. Can I put it underneath? No, I can't. That's fine. We'll do it like that. We'll sleep through the night, and we'll see if... Um, that turns back on or turns off rather the lights turn off because we need to reverse the signal um, that way when it goes under four well, I guess we want five because if we want to turn on a power four then we need to go off okay yeah they turned off all right so that means we have how long how long how big is the signal for for this that what that works that a successful test. Do, 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 do. Is, do we get a 15 strength out of it? No, we don't. Two, three, six, nine. So we get a, a signal strength of nine. I don't know if that changes at noon. But um, we'll see. We'll see when the sun hits noon, we'll come back here. Oh yeah, it's already going up. Look at that. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 is full strength, yeah? So at noon, that should light up. I think, I don't know. I don't know the, the mechanics of this, but uh, anyways, we got to actually go back in the house again real quick. Um, because we're going to get some half slabs to put over these because we're just going to put them on the ground. Uh, actually, let's do it with, uh, with these slabs. I think this will look fine. Yeah, that looks good. I like the um, I like these stone slabs because they're they're um, pure squares like these. Um, they don't really look like a full square because they have these half blocks here. Um, but these guys are just one big square. So they kind of look better as as things to top stuff off. That's basically going to be our light system. And then maybe I'll throw some trap doors on the side and then uh, we'll see how that looks. We got we to gotta make sure that it doesn't um, uh, ruin the light, you know? Okay, so we need some lights. So we need to put... How about two lights here, right in front of the house? Yeah, that's not so bad. Kind of brings you in. I mean, they are blocks in our way now, but uh, I think in the overall look of, of things, it'll look good. Uh, we'll put, this'll be ground here, or gravel rather. I wonder if we can get away with putting one there. We'll see. Uh, right now, just testing stuff. So, um, I think this side of, of the street would be better for the lights. So if we put one here. We have a lot of redstone lamps, so I don't mind um, using a lot of them. So that's five blocks. Awesome. We'll just place them first. We'll, we'll top them later. Put one there. Not bad. Put, one, put a couple here to greet you right when you walk in. Not so bad. Um, I guess we need to plan the path that's out this way too, huh? So I know I want a path to follow the wall. So we'll have a place of two through here. Hey, look, I light, it must be noon. It's pretty close to noon. Will this go any further? I don't. 
I don't think it can go any further than that. I think that's the maximum signal you can get out of anything, right? Unless the daylight sensor has some sort of super power, uh, powered like redstone ability. I'm fairly certain that that's as far as it can go. But we will see. Because noon is about to hit, and that would be the absolute peak of power that this thing could get. Guess it's a good thing that clouds don't really block that in Minecraft. <laughs> the shovel is bananas. Not that it is made of bananas, so don't don't eat it. I think we'll stop there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll judge it later on, and then we'll cut this corner a bit so it doesn't look so so square. All right, so we've basically hit noon. Yeah, 15 is still the max. All right, good test. Let's break all that. Break that fella. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put him yet. We gotta put him somewhere inconspicuous so maybe just maybe we'll put him like in the back way over there and it'll just be like a whole thing of redstone all the way around the town uh, underneath the town rather and keep our, our dirt on hand because we got to fix some stuff here all right and inside of these will be basically walkways to get around. Um, I'll probably have some of these as guard towers in the, the uh, or, or ways to get into the guard towers rather. This side I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with because this is behind the house and well behind the house is, is nothing. I'm gonna light this up a little bit more just to really overdo it. Make sure it's super bright. Um, but I guess that's like right inside the house, isn't it? That that thing? Hmm. Maybe we'll put the entrance right here then. On the inside, and then we'll have like a spiral staircase going up. They're all things I haven't thought of, because this is how I build. <laughs> I just build things and then I work away around uh well, I mean you've seen my house, so I think that's pretty apparent how I build. It's very few things that I ever plan out beforehand. And I like building that way. It's more of a uh, an experience, you know? Because if you plan things out, it's it's you're building. You're not really I, I don't know. I don't know. I could get really philosophical about Minecraft, but it's Minecraft, guys. It's a video game. You play it how you want. Uh, do we have any cobble? We do have some cobble. Make the floors of these places cobble. Thank god I had enough cobble. Alright, put some torches in here. Keep it nice and lit. We'll deal with that later. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do these small ones to get up there, you know? Got a hole right there. That's not gonna work. Dig all of this up. I'm gonna run out of cobble if I keep filling these in. I think that's, I guess technically, that? No. No, Dwight. I had it right. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with. I may just seal this one off, because um, where it goes is not really anywhere. It's like at the very end of a station, you know? So I'll probably make this an entryway up. And then, oh my, I don't have one here. I guess that one over there in the corner. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, pathways. 
So um, we'll have this guy go off this way. We'll have it hug close to the um, the house here. Yeah, this is good. Uh, what are we gonna do on this part? We could just have it go straight and then just straight into here. I mean, it lines up perfectly with these two, which is uh, which is not bad. And then we can have like a little house over here. Why not? Straight lines aren't necessarily a bad thing. You know, I try to avoid them if I can, but um, it's not because they're bad. Just because I don't want things to look too planned out. Just more lived in type of deal, you know? Uh, we'll separate it here. So this will be a little plot. And then we'll separate it again. Well, actually... Might be better if we have a, just a straight shot into the guard tower, yeah? It's a little plot of land. There we go. Man, if I keep, uh, if I just roll with this episode like this, this episode is going to be an hour long. And 45 minutes of it is just going to be me digging out trenches and planning walkways and stuff we can split it here yeah this is fine we'll do something small over to our right doesn't necessarily have to be a building it could be anything and then this one I don't think we need a walkway between this one we'll just put two buildings right right butt up against each other torch down Push down. And then we'll go sleep. And then we'll get to lighting. Alright, so uh, we're going to follow the same lines over on this side as well. Um, in hindsight, if we had three blocks, we could keep our lights over here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out this line right here <clears throat> and add it back to the other side. So we will no longer have a straight shot into that archway, but that's fine. Oh, this only gives us two blocks. Hmm. What should we do? Hmm. I don't know guys, I'm, I'm sitting here just thinking to myself and I, I realize that I'm not talking out loud. But um, I think this will be fine. I think that um, putting our lights here is, is going to be just fine. So we have a light here. Let's put one here. We're gonna go with five on this side. Let's go with four. Two, three, four. Yeah, that's good. Three, four, two, come on, I can count. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. And then we can put uh, one there, put one over here in the corner, uh, one over here, no, right there. And we'll do the same over on this side. There we go. I have like a straight line of them down here. Too bad I'm about to break that straight line because we don't have a curve here. Uh, not that it's going to matter once the buildings are up. You're not going to see that symmetry. See, my, my problem right now is that I got to figure out how I'm going to light these things without being obtrusive. That's fine. I think that's that's going to be good because the the buildings will have their own little light system. Um and I don't want to I don't want to interfere with that. So we'll put one here too. I was going to say why can't I sprint? I'm not paying attention to my food food level again. Got to eat more potatoes. What are we going to do? Okay, this is the inside. All right. 
that makes a little bit more sense and we will have a path we'll put a light here and here why not why not actually let's move that over one okay and then actually we'll put one right here in the middle too and we'll move this one over a little bit that shouldn't bother the blacksmith too much we could always move it I just want to make sure that we have um, our wiring down so I'm gonna dig out an area below these guys and try to figure out how we're gonna do this Oh man, I'm gonna have to dig. No, no, we'll just do it like this and we'll put a block over it. Dig out all of that. Because remember, to our left is gonna be gravel. I'm pretty sure gravel can stay on top of redstone. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so we have our trenches. Um, how are we going to light these blocks? We can... Let's, uh, let's do some testing here. I know if we put a block like this with, uh, with dirt, it'll light it up. But will a passing by redstone signal, I don't think that that's going to turn it off if we have another redstone. No. What about if we do something like this? No. Okay. Interesting. This episode is going to be totally over 30 minutes long. But that's fine. That's fine. You guys won't complain, right? No, of course not. Only I complain about that with long upload and render times. Um, <clears throat> how are we going to do this, guys? If we have... What about this? Hey! That might work. Okay, so if we do... Um, let's say a repeater into each block like this. Let's, uh, okay, I need all those. I don't need that. So if we put a block under each one of these, these are all within 15 blocks of each other. We put torches underneath them. All we got to do is reverse the signal, right? It's kind of like what I did up there for that lighting. So far, signal is coming from this way. Give me that back, thank you very much. Okay, for situations like this, we are gonna have to make a little modification just like that. That's fine though. All right. And um, just for the sake of testing, let's take this line out this way. I don't know, maybe we'll actually hide it over here. I mean, this is, uh, well, I guess it would have to be over here a bit more. Let's put it in this corner right here. This is straight up into the sun. So let's say our daylight sensor is down here. All right. And we want uh, anything uh, under four. So right here, yeah? And that should turn off. Oh, wait. Um, I see. Okay, so I've come across a problem here. What if...
Oh, okay. No, I see. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I could fix this right here. That's all I got to do. So one, two, three, four. After four is done, when this is no longer lit, it will no longer have a signal going through here to turn them all off. So now they're all off. And we'll just wait for this day to go out because it looks like it's almost done. And then uh, all of our lights should be on. Let's put our little toppers on them. Actually, this may look better with um, with spruce on top of them. I don't know. We'll see what you guys think. All right, and let's try to finish up these before the night's over. No, oh, I wanted my redstone. Let's do that first. Two things at a time. Block, redstone, block, uh, torch, rather. Redstone torch. Repeater to keep it going. To repeat that signal. And turn these all off. Sometimes, guys, I understand how redstone works. Just sometimes. Don't get ahead of yourself, all right? But sometimes I remember. Okay, cool. So if we put gravel there, awesome. We have. Ow! Go on, shoot me. Ha ha! Got it. Oh, no! And since we're using repeaters, it shouldn't cut any of this off. We'll keep that open, obviously. And then all of this is gravel. Actually, let's get rid of our torches. Oh no, it's getting nighttime. Do, do, do. Actually, we might want to go. Oh, and our lights came on. Not bad. I'm actually going to move that up further. I want them to turn on a little bit sooner than that. So what we're going to do is um, move our repeater one more. Because the, uh, the further we have it close to the first lamp, uh, the sooner they'll turn on. So that's good. I want to turn on a little bit sooner because it was getting a little dark here. That's awesome. So I'm going to finish up wiring the rest of these guys and uh, and get prepared for... Um, well, actually, I don't even know what episode this is. What episode is this, guys? I'm going to check right now, live while still recording. This is 58. This is episode 58. So 59, we'll finish up our buildings and maybe for 60, maybe I'll get an ender farm going. I don't know. I'd like to, but I gotta study up on something. I've seen this one design that I kind of want to try out just because it's a little bit cheaper than the uh, than the what I think it's Etho, Etho's uh, one. That's the one that everybody uses. Um, although that one is very efficient and very nice, it is a bit more expensive. I don't know. Maybe should we just go all out? Because if we're gonna have one, I don't want to do it again. But I did want to kind of do something different. I don't know. You got you guys. Let me know. Okay, we got we got another episode. Sixty shouldn't be until next Monday. Should should give me enough time to make one. Um, that's assuming that I'm not super distracted by Blockville because there's a lot of stuff I need to do on there as well. But um, let me guys uh, let me guys know. Let me know, guys. Maybe I should work on my phrasing. I'm a little rusty. I've been gone all weekend, guys. I, it's just give me a moment to recollect myself, my my thoughts, my words. Ah, screw that. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Let me know if I should go all out or if I should go kind of ease my way in to get it going, the ender farm going. We already have a blaze farm, so we're not necessarily hurting for XP. XP. Just, uh, it'd be nice, you know? But uh, if we are going to have to go all out, I got a lot of pistons I got to make. And um, 
it's going to be an adventure. So, leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to finish up the wiring of our town here, and I will see you for the next one.